so I literally just got to Y7 and I missed class. It started at 7.04, or it started at 7 o'clock and it is now 7.04. For some reason I thought it started at like 7.15, so I'm just gonna go get some coffee. I teach at Core Power and there's one around here and they have a 7.30 yoga sculpt, so I'm just gonna take that instead, but <laughs> welcome to my life. It was really hard. I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. I'm vlogging. <laughs> suit and some face mask and just like my regular like school stuff because I'm probably gonna head up to campus after um and then everything that's in this bag I'm gonna put in my backpack Getting breakfast now at Bath House. The menu is really good, and I also bought these pieces. So we're gonna do them after. <laughs> not um i guess bathhouse me i was at bathhouse but now i'm editing the video and i realized i didn't really tell you guys too much about it so bathhouse is a little spa in brooklyn if you're in brooklyn i highly recommend it it was so much fun they had like three different pools three different saunas it was beautiful and we got to experience all of it for 45 dollars like insane so if you go during the day uh they have like little specials if you get there at 9 a.m it's like 45 dollars 10 o'clock 11 i think it's 50 or 55 and then if you go the last hour they are open at 10 o'clock it's also 45 dollars so if you're in the area i highly recommend you check it out we weren't allowed to record like too many or we weren't allowed to have phones in the bathhouse like the actual spa part which is why i didn't get that much footage but i hope you enjoy it anyway <laughs> all right i just wanted to say that so let's let's check in with langston and see how he enjoyed bathhouse what was your bathhouse experience oh, phenomenal phenomenal it's cleansed and serene and surreal <laughs> 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 it would recommend <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
finally done. Thank God. I'm so hungry. And I'm obsessed with salmon, guys. I'm a pescatarian, and I make my salmon like this all the time. It's so quick. It's so easy. Mmm! Can't wait to eat! Quick little lunch. never wear my hair straight like this and I think it looks so weird like I want to put some curls in it but I don't want to put too much heat on it so I'm just gonna leave it like this and probably wash it this weekend maybe Saturday morning but anyway I'm going to head up to campus my friend has like this little clown event going on and I really don't want to go but she always shows up for me so now it's my turn to show up for her I just know I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna have to take my online class up there and so I won't get back home until 8 o'clock. But you know what? Who doesn't like stopping around Columbia's campus? So let's go. intimate workshop of the power of playing piece um, understanding the archetype of clown as a healer which unfortunately has been quite debased Oof. in pop culture tell them <laughs> um, I don't think it makes any sense to be calling politicians clowns they're not clowns the government is not a circus do you know how many people it takes to make a circus work people from all over the world work together to make this amazing show for people. Um, it's collaborative, fun, creative, all things that I would say is not happening in our US government. And um, <laughs> there's not. I'd say one of the core essences of a clown is empathy. So when we call politicians clowns um, as a way to sort of bring them lower in status. That feels very confusing to me as someone who has done a lot of clowning, who understands the history of clown. And so it's very important to see how we use words to describe people. So I think it's really interesting that we use the word clown in such a negative way when its history is rooted in so, 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 so much healing. And really it's about self-transformation, self-discovery, self and really offers this um, voyage to, to the self in a way that can liberate us. So stop calling politicians clowns. Do, do, do. Yeah. A few moments later. Okay, I really thought that I had like, a, oh, I'm vlogging, sorry. <laughs> I really thought I had class today after this thing, but I don't. So I'm just gonna hang out. My friends are laughing at me because I'm vlogging, but it's fine, you know? I, You guys are my real friends. Okay, so I think my camera may have been like, I don't know, I think it's like dead. Like I don't think I can record any more videos on it. I think I need to get like a new SD card, so. I need to do that soon because I want to keep filming stuff, but also I have so many videos that I need to edit. Maybe this is this is a sign to start editing stuff and stop filming so much stuff. <laughs> but um, Izzy's like clown thing was really good. It was really great. Like we had so much fun, and it was nice to just get in our bodies and play. And now we're going back to Brooklyn because I don't have class today. I really thought I had class. Whew, I'm like out of breath. <laughs> 